just got this in. So today we are going to take a look at the XKX150W uh, quadcopter. And there it is right here. So what's special about this little guy? All right, so the first thing about this drone is that it's got an optical flow sensor, which means that it can hold its position either outside or inside, and it doesn't have a GPS, so you don't, you don't have to worry about GPS. Uh, the second thing that's special about this drone is that it's got a nice little camera on here. We have a 720p, uh, 2.8, 90, 90, uh, 90 degree field of view lens. And it's even adjustable, as you can see. See, check that out. So this is a pretty cool little drone, but how well does it perform? And here is the controller here. So basically you connect to the XK Innovations app and you can actually either fly this thing with your phone or with the controller. I really don't like flying with a phone, but it is completely possible to just pack this thing up and fly it with the phone. I'm gonna fly it with the controller today. So one really, really important thing to remember now that we're talking about flying with the phone versus the controller, I would really recommend that you, before you turn this on, uh, just have your phone in airplane mode so it doesn't grab onto the Wi-Fi network that this drone is on. Uh, inadvertently because otherwise you'll find that you're not gonna be able to use the controller uh, unless the controller binds first so you either have to be really really quick to bind or you need to be in airplane mode and I've just found it easier to turn on airplane mode and then turn on the drone like this now it's kind of wet and nasty out here today so I'm gonna try putting it right here so I've got the airplane mode on I turn on the controller and I'm bound. Now I don't have to worry about it and I can take my phone out of airplane mode. Okay, so then I will go to my settings. It will start to automatically connect to the drone. See, in fact, it just grabbed onto it now. Wi-Fi network XK innovations. Because it is an unsecured Wi-Fi network. All right, so now I'm gonna open the app, XK Innovate. And we should see a nice little FPV view on screen, and we do. All right, so to take off, you're supposed to be able to press this button for the one key takeoff. Now that doesn't work. I've tried that a couple times, but that doesn't seem to work. So normally I'll just arm the motors by doing like this, down and in. Yeah, see, that, that feature doesn't seem to work. Uh, I don't really think that's a big deal, but would be nice if it actually worked. Okay, so again, to arm, we're just gonna go inward with both sticks and put it in the air. So there we go. Now this little guy records to a micro SD card. I'm gonna frame the shot here, so here we are. I'm right in focus. Now I'm gonna do the long, long uh, press to record with this button here. And it starts recording. You can see that it starts recording on the app because you've got that blinking little red recording button. And the video is nice and smooth. As far as the position hold capabilities as well, it's it's doing pretty it's doing pretty good. I'm going to bring it in nice and really close. But see that? It's just able to kind of sit there and you don't have to worry about the GPS or anything. It's, it's taking digital images of the ground and it's figuring out where its center point is and it's using those images to keep itself in one place. That's how this optical flow stuff works. So you, you can either have this inside or outside and it can do this. And right now it's a little sunny outside, it's above the grass, so this is, this is how it would behave on a normal spring kind of summer day. So I'm bringing it in closer. Now it does have brushed motors on it, which is a downside. But XK is usually good about offering parts. 
I haven't seen any parts available for this thing just yet, but with most XK products, you can always get parts. This is a pretty new drone at the moment, so there aren't any parts on the market that I've seen, which is, which is actually something to consider because the battery is actually a proprietary battery. You see that? The little battery in the back there is where it clips in. So that is just something to consider, that there aren't a whole lot of parts out there for this drone right now, but there will be. Gonna get a solid probably seven minutes of flight time is what I've been consistently getting on this little guy. All right, so uh, the wind is kind of pushing against me here. Let me uh, try to get it back. I do wish I had a little more angle on this little guy because uh, just don't have that that oomph. All right, so uh, enough farting around with the camera. Let's go try to fly down the field and see how far we can get before our camera goes out. But let's just do a flip real quick because you press in this button and then give the direction on the the uh, the right stick. It'll uh, flip just like that. So yeah, I just wanted to do a flip. All right, so I'm gonna try to fly down the field and see how far we can go. Cause I'm sure that's something people want to see. All right, here we go. I'm going down. I'm gonna try to raise it. I'm gonna fly it. I'm flying it only by FPV on what I see on the screen. I'm actually trying to go a little higher. Let's see if I can fly down there by those trees. Yeah, I mean, I'm already starting to get freezing and it's down there. You've got that typical uh, delay because you are transmitting over Wi-Fi. But the good thing about it is though, all of this is getting recorded onto a micro SD card. So this is not just a Wi-Fi based recording. It, this is all going right on a micro SD card. It's kind of just sitting up there. As you can see, we've got a little bit of delay here and there going back and forth, but it's, it's holding its position. All right, so I'm going. I'm going to come back now. I think I'm going to crash into a tree, which is not good. So I'm going to try to land it before I uh, cause a problem here. Oh, there we go. I'm going to land it. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't see and the video lagged, so I kind of lost my orientation out there. So I wouldn't recommend taking this thing super far. So now I've got to trudge all the way over there through the mush. Yeah, folks, you don't want to be careful not to fly it so far away that you lose your orientation because you can't really depend on the video from the app. I don't know if we're still connected. Yeah, we are. But we're not connected to the phone anymore. So I'm gonna to try to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. One quick tip, by the way, about the micro SD card. I've got a little scotch tape on the micro SD card slot. I've got a 64 gig card in here. And the reason for that is because I wanted to uh, ensure that if I did crash the drone into anything, it wouldn't jostle my SD card out and I would lose it in the grass. So, you know, there is no shield over the SD card. So I would, I would highly recommend you doing that if you pick this model up. Just a tip from someone who's lost many SD cards in their time. Again, you know, if you're just looking for a selfie drone to 
frame a shot or get get an idea of what flying one of these is like this is a great starter the camera the, the camera doesn't suck and your video is recorded to micro SD so you're not you're not even worrying about this lag that you see on here you just have to bear in mind that no you can't go far you're gonna have orientation issues you might not be able to see this is a little thing okay we've got a whole bunch of like wind coming through here and it's still managing to decently keep itself in its spot I'm gonna move it out here. And that's it. That's our flight time. We're 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 completely out now. So what do I think of the XK X150? Um I like it. I really do. I think this is a good little flying drone here. Uh, the video, as I said, it's it's good. Doesn't suck. It's got some good uh, quality on it, especially for the price point. One thing I don't like, as usual, is the fact that it does have this uh, proprietary battery here. Not really a huge fan of those. Never will be. But it is nature of the beast. However, otherwise, this is, it's a solidly constructed product from XK. The range is kind of short, but again, you have to kind of look at what this thing can do for its price point. You know, I see people considering something like the DJI Tello, for example, which is gonna, gonna run for like a hundred bucks. Whereas you could probably pick, you could pick this up for around $50 and get a taste of what flying something like that is like. So. It's got a decent little optical flow sensor. Careful flying this thing in the wind, because it had, if it's if it had it been a more windy day, this thing could have just started blowing away. So maybe outside on a completely calm day is much better to to, uh, to fly this model on. Otherwise, though, I'm really really happy with this one, and uh, I'd highly recommend you to take a look at it if you're looking for uh, like a selfie drone. All right, that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and as always, have a great day, guys. Thank you.